I'm Megan O'Sullivan, and I teach a class called Decision Making and Recent Crises, the Formulation and Consequences of Decisions on Iraq, Afghanistan, and Pakistan. I came to the Kennedy School after more than six years in government where I had been working intensively on Iraq and Afghanistan. I had spent a cumulative almost two years in Iraq and most of the rest of that time at the White House working for President Bush. And so I thought, well, what are the things that I can really bring to Kennedy School students that they can't get from others or they're, they're unlikely to get from others? And I came up with two answers. The first is that I have insight or knowledge into countries and crises that are very important to the United States and to the international community, and those countries being Iraq and Afghanistan, and of course, the regional dynamics associated with them. And these are, are issues that are going to be important for many years to come, and that for many Kennedy School graduates, these will be the foreign policy challenges of their generation. The second thing I thought I could bring to students was an appreciation for what it means to be a policymaker and how people make decisions. So often when I was in government, people would talk to me and they would say, why did someone make this decision? Why did President Bush make this decision? And I think after a certain passage of time, sometimes it becomes difficult to understand why a decision which looks so bad several years out could have been made at all. And my own experience in government is that no decision is made, bad or good, uh, because people don't care enough or they're not smart enough or they're not trying hard enough. That usually there's a complex set of reasons why any one decision is made. And I thought if I could impart that to students here, that that would not only enhance their understanding of Iraq, Afghanistan, and Pakistan, but it would make them better analysts, it would make them better policy makers, and it would make them uh, more insightful into how they can contribute in the future. Let me say a few words about the structure of the class. And rather than do something chronologically, I decided to structure the class around about 15 decisions that have been made in recent history that have been profound in influencing the trajectory of international involvement in Iraq and Afghanistan and Pakistan. I tried to balance the decisions between ones that are the big obvious decisions to look at and ones that are less obvious but maybe equally important. In the first category, I would put the decision to go to war with Iraq in 2003. And then, as I said, I try to look at decisions that are less evident to the informed reader, things like the decision to have an occupation, not to transfer sovereignty to the Iraqis, how that had a major impact on the uh, sequence of events and how things unfolded. Or in Afghanistan, looking at the question of why did the international community encourage Afghanistan to adopt a centralized constitution in a country that has a very decentralized history. My objective is not to convince anyone of a particular point of view. It's to get the students to understand what the context was at the time, what the options were perceived to be at the time, who the decision makers were, how they interacted with other people in the international arena, with Iraqis, with Afghans, with Pakistanis, how this all came about, and then to look at the question of what are the consequences of this decision, how much can we discern now, how much needs to wait for further time to pass before we can appreciate the full import of those decisions. In each case, um, with every decision we've looked at, with a few exceptions that are more historical, I've either been personally involved or I've been a, um, a close observer. And I really try to bring that to the classroom. I try to explain to people what I saw, how I felt at the time, and I also try to share how my thinking has evolved since I left government, since I came to Harvard, so, since I interacted with people who think differently. My experience in teaching this class has been that the room is filled with people with relevant experience. In each class, we've had people with military background, people who have served in Afghanistan, served in Iraq, and this has created an incredible environment for exchange and discussion. Having people in the classroom who have either experienced the input that goes into a decision-making process or the output, the consequences of it, how it looks to people on the ground, the question of whether or not to eradicate poppy in Afghanistan, that looks very different in Washington than it does if you're in Kandahar or you're in Helmand. So at the end of the day, the question is, what kind of person should take this class? If you're someone that wants to understand what goes into making a decision, 
who tees it up? How do they tee it up? How does a process make a difference in an outcome? How does the information that a person has at that particular moment really influence the overall uh, course of history in many ways, then this is a course for you.